going to show you guys one of my favorite meals, breakfast, to have after I finish training. So most of you guys know that I do intermittent fasting and that sort of stuff. So generally I'll train fasted and then I like to have a more high fat but still healthy breakfast after. So today I'm just going to be doing my smash dabber. It's so simple. Um, generally I will make enough to be able to store it and have more the next day um, which is quite great when it comes to time if you don't have lots of time you can actually do two or three abos at a time it'll keep for up to a week um, you put lemon juice in it to stop the abo from going brown however if you don't like lemon juice you're probably going to have to do it day by day because it will go brown if you don't use the lemon juice. Anyway, what I'm going to use today, um, utensil wise, is obviously just a knife. I'm going to zest my lemon as well, um, just because lemon zest gives it more of a lemony flavour. So I am going to put a little bit of zest in there as well. So this is a zester. Uh, obviously, I'm going to squeeze the lemons too so I've got my juicer here I've got two containers I like to recycle my containers so I've just got a Vegemite container here and I don't even know what was in that one um, one of my containers I will put spare lemon juice in if I need to um, salt and pepper this here is a stick mixer it's not necessary for smash demo However, it will make it super duper creamy. You can just use a fork to mush it if you like. Um, however, I really like my stick mixer. It's one of my staples in my kitchen. It gets used all the time. Um, of course, some feta cheese, which I put over the top of my smashed avo. Avocado, pretty important for smashed avo. Lemons, and when I'm all done, I will put my smash avo on these for crusket things. So these are just corn thins. Um, they are the sesame flavor one. These guys are my favorite. I love corn thins. Bread doesn't sit super well in my stomach, so I prefer to use corn thins. Um, and of course, my board that I'll serve it on at the end. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we're going to juice the um, the lemons. So really easy. I mean, not much instruction needed here. I actually have squeezed three lemons into here because why not? I use lemon juice for everything. So I'm going to have some spare lemon juice if I need it. Um, and I'm just going to pour it into this glass jar. I'm going to go on to the Avo now. Um, now, a lot of people do this in many different ways. This is how I cut my avo up. And just around the outside, pull it apart. And I didn't do that very well, but stone out. And then I literally just peel the skin off around the avo and it should just leave me with a whole piece of avo. It's so, that's so easy to peel. All these avos. So these are the, the Hass avos, Hass avocados. I feel like I've said avo so many times. By the way, avo means avocado for those non-Aussies. And I'll just do the same thing with the second one. All right, so now that we've got our avo is peeled and ready to go, uh, the next thing I'm going to do quickly is add some lemon juice. Now, I really love lemon. So this, there's no right or wrong for how much lemon you put in there. Um, I just do it by taste, I guess, what I want. So I'm gonna put about that much, say that's what, two tablespoons maybe in there. Um, and then I'll add some salt. Now this salt is actually a um, garlic and I think it's got some chili in it as well. Salt 
and this is just normal pepper. So salt and pepper. Okay. Now, lemon zesting. I just realized that I threw my lemons away. So that's okay, I've got spares here that I can zest. Okay, lemon zesting. Let's try that again. Um, take the cover off my zester. That's all I'm gonna use. So that's zested now. I'm just gonna add that into my smashed avo. Like so. Now it's time for the fun part. Okay, so it's time to Let's just uh, let's just say mix it. That sounds funny. Um, so my stick mixer, guys. Like I said, this bit you don't have to use a stick mixer. Um, you can just use a fork and just mush it. But I'm gonna, you know, do it the you know the fun way. Okay, that's what it looks like, guys. Smashed avo. No, sometimes, obviously, I've just crumbled a bit of feta over the top. Sometimes I'll also add a duca. There's so many different companies out there who make different types of dukas um, that will go great with smashed avo or rubbing on your meats. Um, but yeah, I'll pick random dukas every now and then. You can pick them up at your local shopping centre and put them on top if I feel like it. Um, or I'll poach an egg put the poached egg on top and let the egg run over the apple as well. So there's so many different ways that you can have it. Um, now that I have some made up, I'll have a couple of days worth of smashed apple in here. So I'm not gonna have to go through that whole process again and again. Um, and same with my lemon juice as well. I also use this to put in my drinks. I have, I really like soda water with a bit of lemon in it. So yeah, I prefer freshly squeezed lemon juice as opposed to the stuff that you buy in the bottle. Um, anyway, now I'm also going to make my iced latte for you guys that I usually make when I have breakfast as well. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit different today. And I'm going to do something that I haven't actually tried before with my iced latte, um, with the milk that I'm going to be using. I'm going to use some oat milk. I think it's the brand is Oatly. I'll show you guys shortly. I'll just get it all set up um, and then let you guys know how it tastes. I just have issues with the lactose. I'm not lactose intolerant, but it does play with my gut a lot when I have iced lattes and stuff on full milk. Um, so I've been told to give this oat milk a try and I grabbed some and I tried it this morning and it actually tastes quite okay. It does taste a lot like normal milk. So I'm going to try and make a nice latte with it and see how it tastes and I'll bring you guys along with me and let you guys know how it tastes as well. Alright, so iced latte. So easy guys. Like one of the easiest drinks to make. Um, all I am using is... This is my Oatly milk. This is what I was talking to you guys about earlier. So it is just oat milk. Um, and like I said, I already tasted it and it does taste really good. I've just got a jar with ice in it. Again, this is just a reused jar. It was, I think it was like a spaghetti sauce or something like that, um, which I now, I've got like six of them I use as cups. <laughs> Um, and just a spoon to stir it. This is one of my eco straws. It's just a like, bra, I don't know, bendy, rubbery kind of straw. I really love these straws because I like to like, I don't know, chew on the top of my straws. So I don't like the metal ones as much. Um, and then I will be using my Nespresso coffee machine for the shot of coffee. And I'm using the Ristoro, Ristoretto, I can't pronounce that, but. Um, that is the pod that I'm using. Sometimes I'll do double shots. This particular pod is quite strong, so I'm just gonna do one shot this morning. Uh, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is fill my glass with my oat milk to about there. So we wanna leave a bit of space for the coffee shot. Um, and I'm just gonna chuck my straw. 
spoon in now. And then I'm gonna go over to the coffee machine to do my shot. This is my Nespresso coffee machine. Love this thing. It's so, um, so easy to use. I'm just gonna chuck my pod in, get it started, wait for it to warm up. Ten hours later. Okay, and I think I'm just gonna do a small shot. Yeah. Okay, so now that I have my coffee shot, all I'm going to do is pour it in. Give it a good mix around. Chuck my straw in. Bob's your uncle. Okay guys, so I did have to chuck another shot of coffee in there because it wasn't strong enough. So it's now got two shots of coffee in there, um, which is just a repeat of the first shot that I did. Hey Storm. Storm's really excited about this as well. So now it's the moment of truth for me to taste this with this milk in it. Storm. <laughs> Shh. Um, okay. Honestly, it doesn't taste any different to milk. I'm pretty happy with that. So, yeah, it could be a game changer for me. Um, but guys, this is breakfast after training, so I've just hopped off my bike. I did an hour on the bike this morning, um, and this is what I'm gonna have. <laughs>